Hi to everyone, John here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 2 bike rack on our 2019 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. This is going to be a great bike rack if you've got road bikes and mountain bikes that you want to get to the trail and have fr uh, with a friend. I do recommend though uh, keeping in mind that it has a 40 pound weight capacity so it will be able to handle road bikes, mountain bikes that fit that but your heavier fat tire bikes and electric bikes will not be able to be used along with having a 47 inch wheelbase so that gives you a good amount of space. Let's take a closer look and see some of the features that this gives you whenever you're trying to get your bikes to the trail. Now the first feature I want to show you with the Sherpa is the tilt-away. This has one of the best tilt-away systems in my opinion, especially for a one bike. So all you have to do is pull that and tilt it down and it's out of the way. Unfortunately, whenever it comes to our Jeep, this side opening door is going to hit our right about there on our actual bike. So we won't be able to open it up fully and get in our stuff, but if you happen to put your bike helmets or any of your waters there, you'll still be able to get them. Now, as I tilt this back up, let's take a close look at the contact points. We have two contact points and that is going to be right here. We have this rear strap that's going to go around your tire. And then up front, we are going to have this tire hook which is going to help whenever you have odd shaped frames or carbon fiber like we have here today, because you don't want to damage those. So that way, only points that are being touched are the actual tires themselves. Now living with this bike on the back of your bike rack, it is going to be a little bit different whenever it comes to how you're able to see out of the back of your backup camera. Unfortunately, it's going to block a majority of that but your back windshield should be fine. And if you have your top down, like many Jeep owners, you shouldn't have to worry too much. Along with that, the lights are gonna be a little bit uh, covered, but not to a huge extent. So people will still be able to see that with your bikes on. Okay, now let's show you how to take this bike off. Now we're going to start with this wheel strap. And this wheel strap is only gonna be able to be used for anything three inches width-wise with your tires. Now, if you have bigger wheels, I do recommend checking out the strap that we sell here at eTrailer that will bring up that mount. Now let's pop off this front. Now all you have to do is lift your bike off and then you're ready to ride. Now, whenever it comes to our rear wheel cradle, as you can see, it oscillates back and forth, so it's gonna be able to accommodate any wheel size in between the 47 inches. And as we move up here, take a look at the hook whenever we're pushing it away. I really enjoy this hook. The button is super easy to work with. Once it's down, you can just put it over here, get it out of the way. And then our front wheel cradle has this nice little part right here that will be pushed out of the way to uh, cut down on the amount of space that it's taking up. Now, when it comes to having this bike on the back of your vehicle, it's going to add some length while you're driving around. Let's get a measurement for that. And it is going to be 33 inches. So that's how much it's adding to the back. Usually with the Sherpa, you're able to tilt it away and remove some of that length. But unfortunately today with the hitch that we have on, are unlimited along with the spare tire. It makes it where it just barely touches whenever you try to get into place, which is kind of unfortunate, but let's say you have another set of vehicles uh, in your family. You can use that as long as it's a two inch hitch. Uh, it's still something that you'll definitely be able to use. And if you happen to have a different hitch than the one we have today, you may be able to use that, but it's just something to keep in mind. We aren't able to fully tilt away but let's get some ground clearance because that's going to be something that you need to know. You're a Jeep owner, you're probably going off road and the ground clearance at the very end is going to be 25 inches. That's still a good amount of raise from where your hitch is. So you probably won't have to worry too much about uh, ground clearance with this. Now, speaking of hitch, let's take a close look on how it connects to our vehicle. As you can see right here, we have a hitch pin and lock, which this lock core is key to like with our cable lock for our bike rack. Along with that, we have an anti-rattle anti mechanism at the end. As I undo it, you're gonna be able to notice that there is a lot more movement. It's moving all around by itself. And as I tighten it down, 
it takes a second. I really like the uh, way that it tightens down. You have a little end right here that if you need it a little bit tighter and you're going on a longer trip, you'll be able to put a uh, Allen key right here and tighten it down more. But as I've tightened it down, as you can see, it's shaking along with the vehicle. Now, whenever it comes to the Kuat Sherpa, my final thoughts are if you have premium bikes, this is going to be a premium bike rack for you to take them safely and in style. This is going to come in three different colors. It is going to be coming in uh, pearl, gunmetal gray, and black. We have gunmetal gray here today. I really like the look of it. It's sleek. And along with that, it's just in general going to hold up. We've had this for a large amount of test fits and we've never had a problem with it once. I will say though, if you have heavier bikes, uh, I maybe check out the Kuat NV, which is going to have a weight capacity of 60 pounds. So that's going to bring it up for your heavier bikes. But overall, if you have more normal road bikes or mountain bikes, this is going to be one of the best choices you can go with. And that was a look at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 two bike rack on our 2019 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. My name's John. Thanks for watching. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now, lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage or driveway. So we can see here how the bike rack moves with our truck.